What is going on YouTube, Fessa family, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe for all latest UK media updates and story videos. So we are doing a giveaway to our monthly subscribers, all you got to do to enter is subscribe. So don't forget to push that subscribe button for your chance to win an Xbox One or Playstation 4 this month. The Brat Packers were playing at the Soccer 6 charity tournament where they came across fellow hip-hop star Lethal Bizzle. Not a big deal in itself, but once you unlock their feuding history, you'll understand there's no love lost between them. Bizzle claimed that he sent to Lisa a demo a while back and the N-dubs then ripped part of that song in their hit I Need You. But Dappy, Talisa and Phaser strongly deny the claim. They reckon they received the demo a couple of months after they recorded the song, which reached five in the UK charts last year. This hasn't stopped the two sides bickering, though, and they've made the row public, first on YouTube and then again at the soccer match, where Endubs and their entourage reportedly threatened Bizzle. A spokesman for the rapper said he was minding his own business. Endubs and ten of their entourage approached him while he was watching a match. They may have had ten others with them, but other spectators at the match apparently apparently turned against them and started booing them. A rep for N-Dubs denies the allegations and said the band remain understandably annoyed about the claims Lethal Bizzle has made about them. It doesn't look like the argument was resolved on or off the pitch, so we guess it's back to the recording studio where no doubt they'll both continue to battle it out with words. Aye, right, listen. Let me clear this N-Dub thing up, yeah? That gas show last night some Hollywood acting, good, good editing still. That's what I'm saying. That thing you saw last night was like a 30 second clip of a 10 minute incident, yeah? Furthermore, that bit you saw last night was like 10 minutes after the incident, innit? When man was holding me back. But like, you didn't see that bit. Anyway, that's what happened. So I got into that thing by myself. I didn't go on a hype thing, went by myself. Didn't need to go, it's end up, innit? I don't need to take my man there, innit? Went there. Bam, chilling. Four end up little tramps try to approach me. Not Dappy, Phaser, none of them lot. It's a little bit you didn't see. Four of the tramps approached me and were like, yo, Biz, we saying done. I was like, what's good, fam? They were like, yeah, Biz, what's all this end up's hype, fam? I'm like, done. I'm here playing football. Big man thing, innit? Man squashed all that. Then one of them goes, ah, oh, but I heard you tell them man to suck man's mum. Can't really be saying that. I'm like, tell who's suck man's mum. I heard you tell the Phaser to suck his mum. So I'm there thinking to myself, tell them phases to suck his mum. So I'm thinking about the videos I did in my yard with the pool table and that. I told my to suck my mum on there. I'm baffed. Then they call Phaser. That's the bit you see on the little show they did. And you see Phaser walk over. So Phaser come over now. This time there's like maybe six of them now. Phaser's like, yeah. Don't you remember you told me to suck my mum? On Twitter like four months ago. So I'm like, done, you know what, yeah? I don't remember, but if I did tell you to suck your mum, I must have had a good enough reason. Then he's like, oh, but you can't be telling a man to suck man's mum. Then all his little youths are hyping. Yeah, you can't be telling a man to suck man's mum. Then there was some little tramp. I don't know if you saw that Asian tramp, like, with some grey tracksuit. Like, I sussed him from early when on this team. Man's head's down like this. Yeah, you can't really, you can't really tell a man to suck man's mum. That's violation. I'm looking at this you like, is this boy being serious? Anyway, then Talisa come out of nowhere, and she was like, Oh, Bizzle, you're a prick, you're a prick. And then some youth, some, I think it's a manager holding her back. Like, oh, you're a prick. I told you, let's go do the lie detector test. You're a prick. Oh, you know what? Suck your mum. So I was there like, you know what? I'm going to play a big man, innit? I'm going to play like I didn't even hear you say that, innit? Because real talk, innit? Like, you're a girl. Like, what am I really going to go and do to Talisa? What am I going to go beat up Talisa? Leave for bitch. You said we nicked your song. You said we nicked your song. Think about it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how many records you sold, bruh? Seriously. Lethal bitch. How many records you sold? I'm laughing inside my brain. <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out, man. Wait. We sold a million point five albums thanks to all you beautiful fans. Thank you. We love you.
We love you. Without you, love would be nothing. And how many you sold, Mr. Lethal? What was your last record? I gotta go hot. Oh, I gotta go hot. Hey, do you know the song good on that stone? Yeah. Uh, hey, man, I need to just wipe my teeth off a little bit. Yeah, hey. Hey, before America or something. Got studio stubble and whatnot. <clears throat> nah. You a liar, bro. You a big liar. You said at Soccer 6. You said bullshit about that Asian little tramp. Reason he dressed up like that. Reason he looks all bummy in a tracksuit, grey tracksuit. Because he's been in pen for three years, isn't it? So when he come out, he's still used to the whole thing. The grey tracksuit, grey this, grey that. He would have knocked you out one punch, you get me? If no Gordon Smart was there, none of our fans was there, you know what we would have done to you, Leaf. When it ain't no gun, no knife bullshit, no... it's no need for that. It's all, it's all, it's just, you deserve a straight slap, you know, the side battle. Mm, like, mm, boom! You deserve them just, just a beating for saying suck your mum to Faisal. We didn't say suck your mum. We appreciate the time you bring us on tour that time, but you quickly kicked us off because you're done and we fucked up the show, innit? And you didn't, we didn't, you didn't want us to steal your shine. Tuesday was his tour, innit? Tuesday was your tour. Um, yeah, showing your broken mobo and that. Fucking mob. So what? Man's got three mobos, bro. What? What? You got a pool table with a, with a sticker with your name on it. Wow. Um, Alright, let's, let's. What, what did you win your mobo for? Can't remember. What what did we win on the best UK newcomer, best album, best act? Okay. This whole channel four little end ups this, they little end up show. You would die to have a documentary of of a documentary say being end ups, being being lethal, be imagine that. Imagine the opportunities you would have, hey. lethal. If you had your hey. own TV show on Channel 4, hey. you struck a deal with Channel 4 saying, called Being Lethal B. You would lie. So don't lie to yourself, okay? It's just, you ain't got them advantages there, so calm down. And, um, what else can I say? Phases chain. Oh, shit. Phases chain. Here, look. Phases chain. Alright, listen, we got nice jewels, but this is just one of our little favorite things that Phases got. It's this pendant, okay? Now you said how uh, oh you got robbed, you got robbed, you got robbed, you got robbed. Don't lie to yourself, the pendant's still here, bro. If man come up to man with jewels on, it's a standard thing. It's like, hey, you know how we do on the quickly take off, bam, put it in the pocket, bam, start rocking, you get me? It's nothing, it's nothing, you get me? Nah. If five men jump out on phaser whilst he's walking on street on road <coughs> with these on, he obviously feels He's obviously got a lot of pride in it. He don't need no no one. He don't need no one to walk with him. He wants to walk with his jewels on. You get me? He wants to walk with his jewels on. That's how it is. Like this. He's got pride in it. He didn't have a pot to piddle in, nor did I. So nah, it's time to floss. If we buy a chain, we're gonna wanna rock it. We ain't gonna fucking hide it, innit, Lethal? So now if five man jump out on Phaser and Halsden in Salpos, Phaser's not gonna take it off. Phaser's there. Rush me. Go on, rush me. Rush me, rush me. Man ain't gonna take the jewels off until you fight me, bro. Obviously, this is what happened, didn't it? This is what fucking happened with fucking Phaser, bro. Bang, they jump out on Phaser. Phaser's still wearing the chain, okay? Phaser's not going, oh, oh, no, you can't rob me, you can't rob me. Oh, oh. He's straight into a rocker. Bang, bang, ah, ah. He's holding the chain, so he makes sure there's five men on him. Bam, eventually the hand got through and he ripped it, bro. It wasn't a thing where they held it up. It's like, hey, dickhead, give me your chain. Take your chain off yet. Take your chain off yet. That's a boy off. That's, that's a little, that's a part. That's some donut thing, bro. Like, that didn't happen, innit? That didn't happen. It. They went into a brawl and the thing got ripped off his neck. And they ran. Okay? Fucking UK worries. That's for you. I, just, I, don't, I don't even talk about other people, but UK worries, when I see you, I'm going to rip them dreadlocks off your head. I'm going to wrap them around your neck. I'm going to make you say my name ten times. Dappy, I'm sorry. Dappy, I'm sorry. Dappy, I'm sorry. Big man. You're a waste, man. Back to Lethal B. Now, football 
Don't lie to yourself. Man come up to you, my 10 champs. If me and my 10 champs see you, you know what, you're going to run, bro. You're going to run. Where's your 10 champs? You don't got no friends. Your friends fucking stay at home. Him, your friends stay at home. They snaked him, anyway. I'm tired. Everywhere I go, I fucking roll with friends, innit? 10 man up. That's how it is. N dubs, innit? We're the most established commercial band in this freaking country. Thanks to the fans. Thanks to people like Channel 4, thanks to Radio 1, thanks to my brother Faser, thanks to Lisa. And listen, as for people, as for fucking people that saying, um, K, K, my baby mum, K, my baby mum, K, my baby mum, box drop and you call the police. Here, here's my bad B. Come here, come here, bad B. Bitch! Fam! So I'm thinking, hold on a second, obviously, man's all R8 gang, thinking, obviously, Black Town, thinking, nah, nah, that's not my man. Two twos, nah. Them man just confirmed it. So I'm on Twitter and said, oh my God, I just see one of them cat dub guys driving a Honda Civic. Sky blue. And red. Bench! And I think one of them saw it and they were like, oh my God, blood, are you seeing what this bizzle boy is saying? And I thought, oh, I knew it was you! Pa! How are you man getting triple platinum and making one of your dogs drive a Honda Civic and red sky blue with plastic spinners? Bench! Nappy Gazer, you know I have order, man. Because my man, he's been in them videos from Channel U days doing the ablets. I'm sexy. Yeah, I'm sexy. My man, the little P. Diddy guy in, in N dubs. You get me? And I heard he makes beats as well. And you got a man driving a, 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 a Honda Civic, blood. You man, a triple platinum, blood. That don't add up, though. How are you, man, triple platinum? You got your boy driving a Honda Civic. You and I have order, man. You and I have order. Tell you, if I went to a platinum, all the men will be moving hard. R8 gang, dench. Ranges, dench. The man don't drive my car anyway. I'm more tired, I don't even drive my car. I'm in a passenger. Normal. You know what I mean? My dog drive it. But yeah, pa. Sign it, adding up, bruv. You better speak to Shallot, Shallot. Sounds going with the numbers, bruv. Because you ain't seeing no numbers in action right now, fam. Dench! Seen the link now. I'm like, all right, what's this? Gone on the link now. My see what to Lisa. Some censored thing, not to Lisa or something. So I'm thinking, what's this? So I'm thinking, ah, oh, leave it, cause this is some bogus thing. He's like, no, nah, no, nah, man, trust me, cuz pay for it and watch it. I'm like, leave it, I ain't paying for that, but like, leave it, yeah. Two twos now. Nah. Man, I wake up this morning. On the Twitter, as you do, bear people at him, man. Blood, you seen Tanisha sex tape? You seen Tanisha sex tape? I'm thinking, what? Don't tell me that thing my man sent me last night was a real thing. Anyway, boom. Man went on paps, paps.com, innit? Leave it. Do, do, nah. Man, see the, the purple dingling. Lisa, with the fucking velour chav chak suit. Giving the swag brains living, yeah? <laughs> Blood. Leave it, yeah? But anyway, shout out to Talisa. I think you're a great role model. Rating that, yeah? Nothing wrong with that. I ain't, I ain't got a problem with that. That's You get me? To work on the technique a bit, though. Work on the technique. You get me? Leave it. But I ain't got a problem with that. Done, no. Like, I don't think no man's got a problem with that. Leave it, yeah? But obviously the technique's a bit leave it. But, you get me? You just work on that a bit, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, anyway, so like, boom, two, twos, nah. I ain't even got a problem with them, man, no more. Because, like, I ain't even care. I'm, I'm over that, but, you know what I mean? Old type dappy, done, no. Big up daps, you get me? Obviously, you get me? I ain't got a problem with daps, innit? We're doing a couple shows together, like, we're cool. I ain't got a problem with daps and that, so. When I see you daps, it's not a thing. Everything's blessed. It's not even a hype thing. It's cool. I don't even think I'm just guessing. It's cool. I ain't got a problem with an issue. You know what I'm saying? Team daps, you get me? Team daps in the day. Dappy was like, he was carrying end ups anyway. So, leave it, yeah? So, shout out to Talisa. Work on the head game a bit. You get me? Work on that. Work on that, man, because... You get me, you weren't ready, you weren't ready, you get me, you need, to be, you need to be choking on that, you get me, you need to choke on that purple dingling, choke on that, like, you know, using some shiting, like. Moment with someone, 
that you love and you care about and you trust, you never imagine for one minute that that footage may at any point be shared with the rest of the UK or the rest of, you know, even people around the world. So as you can imagine, um, it's a pretty tough time for me. But I don't feel that I should be the one to take the heat for it or the stick. This is something that he took upon himself to put online, to put this footage online, and he's now sitting in silence, um, pretending that it's not him on the tape when it is. And I'm not gonna sit here and be violated or taken advantage of by anyone. Obviously, I also know that a lot of people online, whether it be fans or just general public, have made up their own assumptions or opinions on the situation, which I can imagine, as you would, um, which is why I'm here to set the record straight. Um, like I said, this is someone that I love, that I trusted, that meant the world to me, that I've been deeply betrayed by. I'm sure everyone at home has had intimate moments with someone that they cared about and never expected for one second that they would, at any point, go and share it with the rest of the world against the other person's will. Um, but this is something that I've had to deal with. It's out now. I understand that there's nothing I could do about it, but I do feel that I need to share my side of the story. For anyone that wants to judge the situation, I would just like to put it out there that this is the person, like I said again, Justin Edwards, aka Ultra, who is my ex-boyfriend, that has put it online, who is the other person in the tape. So please judge the both of us. Another word of advice is when you judge someone, it doesn't define the person that you're judging. It defines you. So that's all I have to say. Lots of love to my fans. Um, as much as this is nothing to do with me and it's not my fault and I do feel victimised, I apologise to anyone that this is offended. And um, I know for a fact it will never happen again. So lots of love to all my fans and anyone else out there that's supporting me. You get me? Like what? One second, I'm finding all dappy beats still. Hold on. All the beat I could find still. Don't know. Yeah! Tars on your mum. Two, two bars on that. Look, dappy, why are you such a crackhead? Used to be cool, but ever since your dad's dead, I bet he's rolling in his grave while she's some Mr. A roll the niggas now he thinks he's a blackhead You sold more but we are not equal O2 Arena, yeah, singing with the people But you're a modern day S Club 7 brand Harvey addict, stop lying to the people End drugs, fanny dubs, you need a deal though You sold a meal but have you got a meal though? Face all sucked in, Pete Docky, he green cost the I think you need to chill yo Fanny, I'll slap you with a BB gun then Punch you up like your BB mum Fanny, narcotics got you aging What cocaine does is so amazing Amazing, Fanny. Yeah, you got two two bars, but fucking with me, you left with two two scars. Still running your mouth, you'll get two two pass. Still acting up, you get two two bars on your head. Smash! Leave him. I know your nose is used to bleeding. You're a nice dinner and a hood that's younger than starving. Don't let me feed him. Let me switch it up real quick. Talk about that silly bitch real quick. Saw your house. Quite impressed. I'll be ready to cop when they get repossessed. <laughs> Female nosh. No job, so how you a boss? Simpson, good thing you left her quick or soon to spend it all your dosh. <laughs> Back to Mr. Burns, quite my frame with a separate perm. When did a screw monkey gonna learn? Those who don't listen must feel the burn. I've been duppy and fannies for ages. You talk money, but you look McDonald wages. Making down for pages and pages, but real bosses got things to do. Hold on, one thing I don't understand. I used to got your mum shopping in Pandan. Shitty little council will stay in Camden. I thought you had a spaceship. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Your mum really needs a facelift. Face all stressed out, so cut and a mat look like she never had a payslip. And I do not know how you're buying all these chains. Have you seen your mum? You really need to help her. Oh, 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 o